Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jacoby from jacobysjourneys.com and today we're taking a look at two different products from a company called Lewis & Clark. First one being the Data Lock RFID Blocking Neck Stash and the second is the Data Lock RFID Blocking Waist Stash. Both are great products and a little bit different, so we're going to take a look at them today. So first off, I want to give a big thank you to Lewis and Clark for partnering with me to make this video review. And I also want to give a disclaimer to begin with. I'm, this, this is not a paid promotion or advertisement from Lewis and Clark. Um, I've reviewed lots of their products over the years. And recently they reached out to me and said they had a new line of products that were out. And would I like to review them and give my honest opinion and share it with my audience? So I said, of course, I love the products. So they did that. They sent me a number of products to review. So everything in this video is going to be my real opinion. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to give my opinion about the goods and bads about these products. There's not many bads. Lewis and Clark has a lot of great products. They have a ton of travel stuff, outdoor stuff. So I really recommend checking out their website. All right. So the first product we're going to take a look at is the neck stash wallet. And this is uh, kind of their take on the classic design of a neck wallet, but this has a few modern twists. So this basically is RFID blocking fabric. The newer passports that have chips in them or the credit cards that have chips in them, when you put that inside this, it's gonna help block any RFID scanning. So if someone has a machine that they're trying to scan the area that you're in, maybe it's at an airport, bus terminal, train station, this is going to protect all your information, keep it secure from thieves. So just looking at the exterior of the next stash wallet, you can see it has a really nice ripstop nylon fabric on the front. It has a couple different zippered compartments as well as a clear window that you could use to put in some business cards or maybe your ID. On the back side they've used a special travel dry fabric. So this basically is a, a special fabric that when it's against your skin it helps to kind of absorb moisture and wick away the moisture so this doesn't get all wet and soggy when you're wearing it under your shirt. And it has a fully adjustable neck lanyard so it can fit a man, a woman, or a child. All right, so now we're checking out this neck stash wallet. So again, you could easily have your ticket and your passport, put those together, and I'm gonna tuck that inside, put the Velcro on, and then just tucking this into your shirt. So that's it for this one. Um, this is my least favorite of the two. Not that this is bad, there's nothing wrong with this. This is a really common, uh, you know, old fashioned style. It's been around for a long time. But for me, just having this bulge here, it looks kind of obvious, like you have a neck stash, you know, there's something inside of your shirt. So if you're wearing a coat or a loose fitting shirt, you know, sweatshirt, this wouldn't be a big deal. But if you're just wearing a t-shirt, it's just kind of obvious that you have, you know, a neck stash on. But basically this is what it would look like, you know, wearing that. And it, obviously you can see a little bit of the rope around your neck. And lastly, with the neck wallet, as far as negatives, um, honestly, there's not really any negatives with this. Um, all the materials are fine. I haven't had any problems with it. You know, it's a pretty basic classic design. They've just improved on it because of the fact of using the RFID blocking fabrics and that sweat absorbing and quick drying material on the back. So really, this one doesn't have any negatives. All right, and moving on to the second product, we have the Waist Stash Wallet. Very similar design as far as to the materials. It has the ripstop nylon that's RFID blocking around the entire thing, as well as the back having that travel dry fabric, which is again, gonna wick moisture away from your skin. So on the front of this Waist Wallet, you can see there's two main zipper compartments. Both of them could fit your passport, um, but there's one larger compartment that's probably best for your passport, boarding passes, credit cards, cash, you know, it all will fit inside, no problem. And the same as the next Dash wallet, this can fit your phone, um, maybe MP3 player, small electronic devices. So you can wear this kind of, you know, basically around your waist or your upper waist under your shirt. Uh, you could wear it over your shirt. You know, when you see tourists that are wearing either one of these on the outside of their shirt, it kind of defeats the purpose. Um, but that is one style of way that you can wear them. All right, so now I've got the waist stash on. And this one you can see is pretty streamlined. So same thing, I'll put my passport, my ticket inside. I'll stick this inside the waist stash, zip this up. And this one, you know, you can bring it up around your waist and hide it pretty easily. You don't see anything around your neck, obviously it's just around your waist. So people really wouldn't know you had this on. Although they're both good for kind of different, different uses. Nothing wrong with either one of them, but this is the one that I prefer when I'm carrying my valuables. I can keep it around my waist. And then lastly, as far as negatives with this, again, it's the same as the first, you know, the neck wallet. There's not really any negative things about this. I think they did a really good job. Um, it's a very classic design. 
Again, except for the fact that they've upgraded the RFID blocking material all around it, as well as that moisture wicking back, and everything else is pretty classic design. You know, if you're trying to decide between these two styles, it really depends on you. Um, you know, sometimes you're in a situation, maybe you wanna wear one around your neck, tuck it under your coat, under your shirt, but then maybe, you know, it's just more comfortable to wear around, around your waist. But the bottom line and most important thing as far as I'm concerned is the fact that these are both RFID blocking, they have moisture wicking fabric, they're low profile, so if you do wear this under your shirt, under your garments, it's gonna be a lot easier to conceal this, which is basically the whole idea behind it. So to summarize everything, I could easily recommend both of these products. Both are great, both have pretty similar features, it just comes down to which style you prefer to wear, something around your neck or something around your waist. Or maybe you want both and it gives you a couple different options. So again, thank you to Lewis and Clark for partnering with me to make this video possible. And thank you for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I upload new adventure and travel gear review videos every week. And remember, life's about the journey, not just the destination.